My daddy said I was so bright, and that's why he called me son. No, seriously, we're going to talk about the San Linky Spotlight Slash Welcome floodlight. back to the O&D Life. So we've got the flashlight that I just showed you in the intro. The San Linky Rechargeable Spotlight Flood Camping Flashlight. So uh, as you saw on the intro, it's in Amazon and I'll have a link down below that you can order from. Um, so we'll go through what's in the box when they send it. Uh, so it is a, uh, a spotlight. So you can turn it on. It has a high and a low. <coughs> Notice that technique there? Anyway, um, the, so that's one function of the light. The second function is the uh, side floodlight. Here, so that's kind of handy actually. I found um, you know, you could set it down and it would uh, you know, illuminate a room. In fact, it's kind of dark out. We've got we're in a tornado watch, you know, you could set it on a table like so, you know, just flat on a table. Try and get it to where you can see that, and uh, you know eat at a table or write if you needed to. It has a high and a low, so you could turn it down a little bit. Um, so that's kind of handy. And if you hold the button down, then you get kind of a blue and red strobe, which could alert someone to uh, where you are at. Um, you know, so that, that's kind of handy as well. Hey, if you have someone on your property, you put that on. That might get them to leave the area, perhaps. So anyways, that, that's something different. If, if you broke down on the side of the road and you had this, uh, you may or may not want to use this. I'm not sure if uh, it would be a bad thing. It might be good just as a uh, keep people from running into you if you're pulled over to the side of the road. So... That's kind of neat. The uh, spotlight, if you press and hold the bottom button, it does have kind of a, a strobe. So that's that's the basic light itself. Basic functions. The other thing um, that that's kind of unique about it or nice about it is it is charged with just a. Uh, um, you can plug it into the wall or a um, 12 volt, you know, cigarette lighter. So here we have the cigarette lighter, 12 volt. For some of you millennials, that used to be a cigarette lighter inside your car. That plugged into there. Here's for the AC. You can just plug it into your wall and it plugs in. It does come with a strap also, so that's kind of kind of handy. Uh, you let you be hands free, and it has a couple of spots to clip into it, or actually just one. Um, Got to adjust it, but you know you could have it hang down from you, so that'd be kind of nice. Um, on the back where you charge it, there's also a USB slot that you could use to uh, charge your phone or your tablet as well. So it could act as a battery charger, uh, extra battery, battery charger for your phone. So that's kind of a, a nice feature. It has a hole on the top that you could um, screw into a tripod. And, and, you know, um, direct it in the direction that you wanted or get that flood, you know, wherever you would want it to be uh, flooded to if you had a tripod. If you don't have one, you're in luck because it comes with one, actually. Now, I will admit, 
it is kind of uh, cheap. It's just plastic. Um, press, and then you can rotate angle, what angle you want it. Um, you just have to turn it and set it down. So it will screw in on here. Now I will say, it does seem like this piece was a little bit of an afterthought because it does not line up directly. You know, it's not flat all the way across there. Um, so you do kind of have to turn it, basically. And maybe that is how it's designed. In the picture, you'll, it looks like it's going the other direction. Like struggling. It's because it's on camera. So, lower the camera back down, you can see, you can adjust it however you need, angle the beam there if you needed to. I did see online where some people did attach it. So, it was turned and, and it worked. Needless to say, I don't think that function is going to be your best bet. You could use that onto a regular camera tripod and I think it would work really well actually. If you were, if you had this in your car, hey, this would give you a little something to set your your uh, light on and you could angle it a little bit so maybe it's it, it, it work out so as far as the quality the the how it feels it is a you can tell it is an inexpensive flashlight uh, full transparency this uh, I was contacted to review this product feature it on the channel um, for the most part, you know, unless I have a use for it and I can see where I could use something like that, I'm not interested, but, uh, this is something that, um, my wife likes to light up the night whenever she hears something outside. Um, she hardly ever sleeps and, uh, so, um, this will be handy for her to, uh, see out into the distance at night. We had a spotlight, big spotlight, but uh, it was rechargeable and it um, it ended up dying on us. I'm not sure what happened to it. And I didn't take too much time trying to problem solve it. But, um, so here's another rechargeable one. I'm gonna roll in some footage about how, 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 how it lights up. Show you guys that aspect of it. It's, um, it's a plastic. You can hear that it's a molded plastic it has these uh, little rubber things stuck in where all the screws are at one fell out I think it's in here I thought I saw it earlier um, so it, it's it is a good it's an L CD, LED, LED, um, light. It's a uh, pretty, pretty inexpensive, um, bright as heck. That, I, I, I was actually extremely surprised at how, um, what's the term? How piercing the light is and how it stays in a, you know, I don't know how wide, how wide it is. But a perfect kind of circle, a good five foot, you know, across radius. I forget my geometry. 
You can tell I haven't been teaching math in a while. Um, but it just is piercing. So I'm going to roll in some footage of that and uh, let you guys see that. And um, there'll be a link down below if you're interested in a light like this. Um, it would, it, I mean, it's inexpensive. It would light up the night. And if something happened to it, wouldn't be too, too concerned about it either. Um, gives you also a backup battery charger. So a couple uh, multi-purposes there. Uh, we'll be using it for a while. I will be sure to let you guys know if um, if it doesn't hold up. I'll give you an update. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Owen D. Out. Okay, so just a quick overview of the the spotlight here. You've got two buttons, and uh, the bottom button is what's going to activate the spotlight. It has a high and a low. And then the top button here activates a side floodlight. And what I've found is that this actually is pretty handy to have and hold it like this. And then you could scan around. And as you're walking, you can make sure that you do not step into anything. Um, you know, that your dog's left you. It is a great piercing spotlight. I'm really pleased. Okay, here's some footage at night of the um, red and blue light as well as the strobe. So I uh, forgot to do that in the earlier clip. You'll be able to see that. Um, I did kind of, this. I, I shot this over a couple different nights. And so there was some duplication. But uh show you the other stuff, the other, the red and blue flashing. Pretty handy. Hold it or press and hold it, and you get the blue and red lights. If you press and hold the spot, you get a strobe. So that's just a quick. Um, quick look. Okay, so here is my Olight EDC light. It, it is pretty bright. It'll, it gets kind of wide pretty fast and, you know, down there at the bottom there's our driveway where I have a wire fencing going across we don't use this part of the driveway there's a sign that you can just barely see lit up so let me use this other spotlight and you can see how more how much more focused it is actually a car's gonna go by I'm gonna let them go by first and then I'll get the light So you can see how much more focused that light is and just really is piercing. You can see the bushes. Okay, while this plays out, it'll uh, compare the O light and the spotlight again, but uh, just wanted to give you an update. 
So since I first recorded this, we've had a power outage for three days and um, just got our power back on last night. But my wife used it at night as she was up and uh, checking, you know, hearing anything out there. She'd go out and shine the light on the horses and uh, the goats, chickens and uh, she was very pleased. She felt like she was able to see all the way up, you know, at the the edge of the woods and uh, felt more comfortable. So, mission accomplished. Happy wife, happy life. Words of wisdom from O&D. O&D out! Thanks for watching. I truly feel blessed to be able to do this and contribute back to the YouTube community that I have learned so much from, such as how to do tractor and auto maintenance and repair, plumbing repairs in my house, electrical, which I'm certain has saved me thousands of dollars over the years. Not to mention the tons of entertainment watching tractor related videos in anticipation of my tractor, then how to use it, or the attachments, or what my next attachment mod I absolutely needed. I'm sure I'm the only one, right? To help support the channel, please hit the like button and comment below. This helps the video get suggested to other viewers. Plus, I really enjoy the interaction from y'all. If you want to see other videos of my tractor adventures, sub subscribe to my channel at OND Life and hit the bell symbol to be notified when new videos are posted. When you go to my channel, you will find videos discussing attachments, some safety lessons learned from a rollover I had and a time that the tractor was running away from me downhill. And then there's videos of just getting orange and dirty. If you are on Facebook, you can find me at OND Life. Like and follow the page for sneak peeks of current weekend projects and likely upcoming videos. Look in the description below for my email and link to the OND Life Amazon store where you can find some products that I use in the videos or just use or that I want and I plan to order at some point from the store lastly check out some of the videos in the description I have some links they're videos of products that can help keep you orange and dirty living the O&D life O&D out